Compute the following integral by interchanging the order of integration. Integral y goes from 0 to 1. Integral x goes from y squared to 1. y sine of x squared dx dy. Now, we try to compute the inside integral. Integral sine of x squared dx. We don't have a closed form for that, so we need to try something else. So, if I interchange the order, we can hope that something nice comes out. So, first step, we have to sketch our region. So what do we have? We have y is gonna go from zero to one, so that means I take the line y equals zero, the x-axis, the line y equals one, and then our region will be between those two lines. Next, I have x going from y squared to x equals one. x equals one, just a vertical line through one, then x equals y squared, you could solve for y and get y equal to square root of x. Okay, note you might worry about y equal minus square root of x, which goes to the bottom, but since I'm between y equals zero, y equals one, not an issue. Okay, next, which part do I shade in? Is it this region or this region? Well, what I do is start at x equals y squared, so right there, and then we're gonna move until we hit x equals one. So the way I do that is by going to the right. So I'm going to fill in this region here. If I had x equals 0, I'd be going in the other direction, and then we get this piece here. Okay, anyway, this is our region. So point is, you want to put little guidelines on to make sure you're in the right region. All right, interchange. So the idea is, okay, now instead of y going from 0 to 1, I want to know where does x go from. So this will be for the outside interval. X is gonna go from, well, it's gonna start here at X equals zero, and at vertical line X equal to one. So our range in X is gonna be zero out to one. That's limits for the outside integral. Inside integral, we switch those horizontal lines to vertical lines, and that's gonna tell me how we travel when I do the integral in Y. So we're gonna have, we're gonna start off, okay, at Y equals zero, I follow my line up, and then I hit y equal to square root of x. So that means the limits are gonna be zero to square root of x. That's for the inside integral. We take our limits, we put them into our integral. So these go in here like this. Okay, we switch the order of dx and dy. And now we take a look and see if it works this way. Inside integral, okay, it's in y. So we're just taking any derivative of y. It's one half y squared. No problem. Put our limits in, take the difference. I get 1 half x sine x squared, and I want to take any derivative of this. Well, this is just a u substitution. I let u be equal to x squared, and then I can just follow my nose. So we evaluate, and then when you crunch things down, you finally wind up with 1 minus cosine 1 over 4.